Hello, this is going to be kind of a show and tell video because I am setting up a very crude but effective low power FM radio transmitter. My church is resuming its normal services but they still want to offer a radio broadcast just to cover the parking lot of the church for any attendees that want to come and join us but don't want to come inside. So this will let church members listen to the service from their car if they pull into the parking lot. Problem is, FM transmitters are in short supply because our church is not the only church that has that idea. So I'm going to use some old cable TV equipment to put an FM radio signal on the air. On the right here is a modulator. This is an agile modulator, meaning you can tune it to any frequency you want within, within the cable TV band. This is made by a company called Blonder Tongue. They're a pretty popular name. They build good equipment. So this machine is designed to, to take an audio and video signal and put it on a radio frequency carrier on a cable TV system. So when you tune your analog TV to various cable channels, every one of those channels that you get on cable TV comes from one of these boxes. There's one of these boxes for every channel you get. Now this is all analog equipment because we're putting an analog signal on FM radio. Nowadays cable TV is pretty much all digital so this stuff is readily available on the internet and it's not too expensive. Now in our case we just want radio. We don't care about video so we just don't feed in the video signal and it's that easy. On the right is an amplifier. This is a broadband amplifier even though we're just going to be using it to amplify one signal, that is the signal from this modulator. And I got a little antenna here, we'll just hook right up to the output of the, mod of the uh, amplifier. This is crude, but it'll work. And I just have a little radio receiver on the left hand side there we can use to test the system. So I'm going to hook it all up, turn it on, and show you how it works. There's not much to this, there's no modifications needed to the equipment you just hook it up, set the levels appropriately, and it works. Pretty simple stuff. But I thought this would be a good video for folks that need something similar for a project of their own. Whether you want to just broadcast an FM radio signal around your house, or your church needs it, or your school, or whatever. If you're just putting a signal around your house, just using the modulator by itself is probably all you need. You probably don't need an amplifier. Uh, as far as the legality of this, I figure as long as you're keeping the signal within the bounds of a parking lot or a building that no one's really going to bother you. But if you are concerned about it, check into FCC Part 15 limits on low power signals. If it's, in, if it's within Part 15 limits, then you're okay. If you're running too much power, covering too much of an area, uh, you could be in trouble. So that's why with this we're just limiting it to the parking lot of the church and we should be fine. Now different modulators are programmed differently. This one has little dip switches behind this cover right here where it says channel selector. You open that cover and then you flip these little switches up or down for whatever channel you want. Now your modulator may be different as long as you have an Agile modulator, that means it can tune to different frequencies, you should be all right. If we put this on cable channel 95, the audio carrier for channel 95 lands at 95.75 megahertz FM, or we'll say 95.7 to round it off. Cable channel 96 is 101.75 and cable channel 97 is 107.75. That's a lot of numbers, I realize that, but if you look up what frequencies each cable TV channel operates at, you can see those numbers that I just listed. So look up a frequency guide for cable TV and you'll see those three channels. So those are the, th the three cable channels that land in the FM radio band, or at least the audio carrier lands in the FM band. Another option is to set the modulator to channel 6, cable TV or over the air, that's the same frequency. If you set it to channel 6, the audio carrier of channel 6 
lands at 87.7 FM, which is just below the the proper FM band, but most radios will go down to 87.7. Most, but not all. So if one of those three frequencies that is mentioned, 95.7, 101.7, or 107.7, if those frequencies are all being used, then you'll have to go to 87.7. Luckily, in my case, this is a pretty rural area. All three of those frequencies I mentioned are all clear frequencies. One last thing to know about this is the modulator is still generating a signal at the frequency for the video carrier, which is just below the audio carrier. Now, we're not sending a video signal into the unit, so we won't, we're not putting a, a TV signal on the air, but the signal is still there. The unmodulated video carrier is still present, and it could interfere with other broadcast stations. So again, if you're just covering a small area, shouldn't be a problem. But that's one of the reasons that this is kind of a crude setup. Anyways, let's hook it up and try it out. Here's my test setup. I have a little portable CD player with the headphone jack going into the cable, which goes into the audio input on the modulator. The RF output of the modulator goes into the input of the amplifier. And I have an antenna over here on the right, or the left, I mean. And then I have this little transistor radio set to 95.7. So when I hit play, and the CD starts up, you'll hear the music. So I can turn the volume up on the radio here a little bit. Like that. I'll stop that for a minute. You have to adjust the volume levels and the RF levels on this. And with this particular unit, it has an audio modulation trim pot right here. And I set it until the over warning light just blinks once in a while when music is playing. So maybe that can go a little bit higher. There it is, yep. It's just blinking a little bit. Right there. So that's set pretty well. And there is a RF gain level, or an output level, right here. That's the RF level. And the amplifier also has an RF gain right here. So I set those to about their midpoints. You can raise those if you need more range or lower them to keep the signal from going too far. So that's it. That's my crude FM transmitter setup. Seems to work. Thanks for watching.